How does prolotherapy help pelvic floor dysfunction? This is kind of one of my interests because whether it's a pubic problem, pelvic floor problem, lower back problem, uh, it's very, very disabling. So it's very, very disabling. I would say basically almost every day at Caring Medical, we have somebody coming in with a pelvic floor problem, pelvic floor problem. So I'd like to just show this. So uh, this is basically the pelvic floor. So the pelvic floor goes from uh, anteriorly, we have the pubic symphysis here, pubic symphysis here, and then you have the pubic rami, and then this is the ischial tuberosity. So the pelvic floor is all the musculature here. So the normal symptoms that folks have is just terrible pelvic floor problems. And then that can lead to erection problems, problems with intercourse, uh, urination problems, holding urination, bowel problems. But it, the pain is just awful. And then of course, you know, uh, from a relationship standpoint, it interferes with relationships. So I had a discussion the other day with a client uh, who came in from Houston, wonderful, nice young gal, newly married, you know, and you know, it was causing a lot of problems in her marriage and everything, just because, you know, it, it's just very, very painful. And the, then the thing is, I said to her, because she was, you know, asking about food allergies and da-da-da and, you know, physiotherapy and all these things, and I said to her, you know, if you and I were going to write a comprehensive paper on pelvic floor, so we're just going to research it, and we're going to say, like, what would be one injury? What would be one injury that could cause you, you know, pubic pain, pelvic floor pain, a urinary problem, screw up the nervous system in the pelvic floor? I think we would come to the conclusion that it's pelvic instability. Like in other words, if you have pelvic instability, it means that you have an injury to the ligament support. The ligament support that causes these bones to stay in alignment. So in other words, you have either a pubic problem. So let's just say you had a pubic symphysis problem. You didn't even know you got it. All you did was slip on the sidewalk. You slipped on the sidewalk. You didn't think much of it. And now all of a sudden, this is a littler model. This will illustrate it. So you got a pubic symphysis problem. And now all of a sudden, you've got excessive motion of your pubic symphysis. Well, guess what's going to happen when you try to pee and those muscles try to contract. You've got to realize that you only have good control if they contract against a stable base. So while the pelvic floor muscles are trying to contract, if your pubis is, is unstable, you're going to get muscle spasm. And when you get muscle spasm, you know, the pain is excruciating. And then uh, obviously anything that puts pressure on the ligaments like intercourse or like doing lunges or like running, you know, any sort of activity that's going to put pressure on the pelvic ligaments is going to make the symptoms worse. And if pelvic floor dysfunction, they'll tell you, you know, they can't do crunches. You know, they can't do a lot of different physical activities because the pain is excruciating. So we have very good success treating pelvic floor dysfunction, pubic problems, ischial tuberosity problems with prolotherapy. Specifically, you know, I would poke on the various areas. So if I was poking on somebody's pubis and it was tender, I would treat that. The pubic ramus, if it was tender. This is the anterior part of the ischial tuberosity. We might do the anterior and posterior parts of the ischial tuberosity. Sometimes we got to treat the lower back. You might think, I got a pelvic floor problem. I don't have ligament instability of my back. Well, the ligament instability in your back could be causing the pelvic floor problem. So if you have clicking in your back, you know, like in other words, you raise your legs and then all of a sudden the back clicks or you've had a lot of chiropractic care or I had a conversation with the, with the gal from Houston was that I said, you know what? First of all, most of the pelvic floor dysfunction problems are in females. That's what I see anyway. Two is almost all of them have hypermobility. So if you have hypermobility, it means you have, you're a loose jointed gal. You're a loose jointed gal. You know you have extra flexibility than the average person and you've got pelvic floor pain. Come on, most likely is you have ligament injury in your pelvis. You've got pelvic instability. You have to stabilize it. So this particular person had had a whole bunch of care before she saw us. You know, nothing worked, disabled. She was here for her second visit, and she was already 25% better. And you could just tell her husband was here, she was here. She just was so much happier. So there's a good chance that she'll completely get cured with prolotherapy.